what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some 8 gauge uh, sprue wax and sprue the tips of these. I'll use uh, red utility wax to loop the sprues onto the copings. Go ahead and loot a little wax around the sprues. Now that the sprues are in place, I'm going to go back to the, the separation that I made in the contact here. I went ahead and removed the adjacent sections and I want to really make sure that my dies do go down all the way and that they're also mobile without any any restrictions there. And I'm going to take a, a wax that uh, does not uh, break easily, a wax that um, has, a, has a very good memory, um, preferably a margin wax will be suitable. And I'm just going to tack this contact or this uh, joint area here in a couple of places I'm not flowing the wax into the connector just placing a couple of uh, small little beads on the connector to hold it in place I'll do the same on the lingual Now once again, I did not flow into the middle of the joint here, just uh, placed the beads on the outside to, to hold it in place. And I'm holding it in place for my bar here that I'm going to place. The bar here is, um, is made out of wax and is 8 gauge, it's fairly rigid. And um, I cut a piece earlier that I'm going to be using that is uh, just going to fit here. And so I need to uh, adjust my sprue tip here. Working lightly here, trying not to disturb the bridge too much. Okay, place the bar there and go ahead and flow with utility wax your bar onto the sprues. Note how short the uh, sprues are here. This is going to be a non-precious alloy. Uh, these sprues could be a little longer for non-precious, but uh, it's a good habit to get in, habit to, into making them very short, especially if you use 
semi-precious alloys because they really need to be short for that for that alloy. Otherwise, you will you will get porosity. So now I'm turning it over here, and I'm going to glue the buckle. And I'm just closing any voids and making this as smooth as possible so that the investment doesn't get uh, doesn't get stuck in to some of the crevices or voids. It would be, just be hard to clean up later. Plus, we want our metal to flow without any trouble. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put um, this is an indirect uh, wax up here or sprue. I'm going to have some uh, leader leader sprues here. nice and smoothly on these as well. Screwed the the direct uh, direct uh, bar here. I'm going to go ahead and flow wax now into this joint, making sure that the the wax will flow all the way through. I'm not going to get my instrument so hot that it will distort everything here around the the cut that I've made but it'll go right in the to the middle and then I'll turn it around do the same turn it around and do the same here Now what I'm going to do is, uh, is pretty critical as well, and that is to push the dies up, just lightly tapping from the bottom here. Pull the dies out of your model. Take one die, pop it off, carefully go to the next and do the same. Seal the joint that was cut where if it's if there's still an open area, flash it. Seal it up. Your die from your uh, bridge. Place that now on my uh, former 
position it so that the ring will go on. And I will go ahead and finish putting the sprues, looting them to my sprue former here. And uh, start to start to invest this shortly.